Hi, my name is Chewan. Uh, welcome back to my video tutorial for Microsoft Access. In this video, I will show you how to uh, make a form as a read only uh, for the regular user. I will log in in my program. Wang 3. And then we log in as a J Wang. Now, J Wang is a regular user. You can see the admin page is disabled. Good afternoon, J Wang. And we go check on the user table. The one I log in is this one, uh, Johnny Wang, with the security user or user type is a user, regular user. It show as a John Wang. Okay, when a uh, customer list click in here, you know, this person can able to add new or uh, delete something over here and we don't want them to do that we want this form or the data sheet this form to make it uh, read only for the regular user okay for me I will show you how to do that uh, we go to the design view the customer list button here, uh, the data is target name to customer uh, DS form. When we go check over here, which is this one, we can do it over here. Go to the onload event of this form, like this. Or we close this one. We can go to the design view of the customer uh, data sheet or DS form. We click uh, the right hand click and go to design view of this form, customer DS. Click on this box and click on load event. If we start with the, get the user login, uh, dim user as string. And then we will get the user login type like a user or admin dim login type. As integer. Why is it integer? Because uh, login type they have um, from the security level. Let's log in. Uh, secret level is as admin equal number one and user equal number two and because link to over here on the user table link to a uh, user security because this field is look up uh, see the admin and user is look up from a uh, data from table security level and they go in the side view, you see this one user security is a number because it's look up table from table security level. That's what we put as an integer. Now we want to get the user form user equal to form navigation. Uh, text login why user over there because when the user log in and then we open navigation form over here navigation open and then pass the login form the login form pass to the text box name is take login you see this navigation form and the text is take login that's why we get the user from navigation from take login and we need to get the login time from the lookup lookup that I just said array is uh, over here Look up user security from the user table. 
uh, matching with the user login ID. Okay, user sick. Ready. Ever user. Long in equal equal single code because it's a string. A string will be use a single code first and double code and s pen or n sign double code single code double code and then close parenthesis. Now we go use the if statement if login type equal to two is main user. Regular user. And we use uh, make the form me dot allow addition equal to four and allow uh, edit equal to four. We don't want them to edit or change anything. And they don't want we don't want them to delete anything. This is right here. And then if look pretty good. Now save and close it. Now when we log in as a G Wang Plus one two three four as a regular user. Now we come with log in as a J Wang or Johnny Wang, a regular user. The admin page is disabled. You can go check over here. Table user is a J Wang over here. John Wang, user regular user. And here the one we put the code in customer list uh, because we put under. Uh, customer ds or uh, data sheet and now we cannot add new data in here we cannot delete it gonna delete anything you highlight you gonna delete no it just read only now you can check in here because this tab is data is uh, target to uh, customer ds customer data sheet and how about if a login as a uh, admin, I will see J123 for Jane Wang123 and log password is 1234 and admin. I will, I want to log in with this person. J123 password 1234. Now the admin page is able. You can check all this tab under the admin page. And I also can able to change under customer list. You see, I can add new person here. I can change uh, information here. Co. I can change all the data here because I log in as an admin, and admin page is enabled too. And pretty much cover. This time, this method used when you use a login form here. When you log in, the login ID passed to the navigation form, and then uh, that tab or that form when you open it compare the security login or the user time from the user login over here. Another method: if you don't use a login form here. And if you open it, you just open straight to navigation form. Sometimes you don't need the password to log in. For example, yeah, you use the file under your network. Uh, you can use your login network or your login computer on the network to uh, show in here because this user they have their own uh, login and password ID when they log in the computer. We just want them 
want that the login ID to pass it over here to the navigation form we can set up the user type for them we have the user already user table it's the same thing uh, user table here on user login here we can changing to match with the computer login user over here okay in my computer here I log in as a T1 I can change over here you see Paul Wang I have T1 login I can put plus one two three four here as a regular user and when I click open the navigation form I want to show my use computer login here and I just go design view and go to the a property sheet on this form I will put on load event on the navigation form here I don't have anything here since we don't have uh, the user login form we just open the uh, form navigation form and we need to assign the user login to the text login box on the navigation form we start with dim our user login as string uh, we use uh, assign user login equal to in y1 this environment function is get the user login from the computer uh, and then assign it to me.txt login equal to user login okay we done when we open the navigation form and then the text box will be equal to the computer login uh, user okay save and then we it now it show user login equal to t1 uh, because i log in computer as t1 when you log in a computer in a network your user login uh, on the network we show in here and then if it's matching the lo user login is matching with your name your uh, user in the user table I have it in here. Oh, I have two of them. I have in here. I have in here with the Paul Wang and password in chain one two three four and uh, user time and equal to user regular user. Now open it. I will show here and. Also, the form here we need to add some update some more. We can copy the code from user login and user level equal to here. And we assign user level our integer user login equal to to here. Take login now next step we use the if statement if user level equal to two is mean regular user then me dot admin page dot enable equal to 4 and if 
Okay, and done. Open it. Now we log in as a chain one. I'm a regular user. Now this admin page show uh, disabled. You cannot check in there because now it show um, T1 and then under Owen because my user log in the T1 here and then Powerwang and regular user and this another way we don't use the login but we just uh, open it straight to the navigation form and then um, use the information from the user table uh, compare login ID and password and the security type or the user type and hopefully it help you how to uh, make a form uh, as a read only for a regular user. I cannot change anything here because user login as a regular user, not an admin. Thank you for watching.